What's up, guys? Um, so I'm currently at a uh, state forest in Washington. I've been here for a couple of days. Um, I'm still with my friend Valora. This is her last day. And today we are going to make some tacos because we have not eaten all day. We've just been like chilling and kind of hanging out and stuff. But we're about to make some really good tacos. She's going to make. I'm going to make mushroom tacos. Mushroom tacos, which sound amazing. And I'm going to make some asada beef tacos. So. We're gonna start with that, and we're just gonna chill today, so it's gonna be very chill vibes. Uh, let's get started. Yeah. So I don't know if I have enough propane. <laughs> we're about to find out. Yeah, that's almost out. Uh, I, I, I think I might have more in the roof bag, maybe. Uh, we're gonna you wanna find go out. look first? Nah, I think I have one in my van somewhere tucked away. Okay. We'll look for it if we need it. Yeah. If you want to start prepping. I think I'm going to do exactly that. We need your cutting stuff. Your knife? Yeah. You brought the orange bag, right? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm going to go grab it. <laughs> bring that, and I'll bring the EBL so I can charge my phone while it's out uh, here. You want to bring my bank out? We can use that. Oh. Does it smell can, off? We can smell it. Oh, God. <clears throat> It smells fine to me. That's it? Yeah. It might just be me. Yes. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> why, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm done with myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, the onion, too. Yeah, I still gotta do the mm -hmm. onion. See? Onions these days get so big. They're so huge. It's uh, one of my favorite things to watch evolve as a plant scientist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, commercialized groceries or uh, commercialized produce is just such a strange concept. They're right? all jumbo. You ever heard of the green revolution of the 70s? 
The Green Revolution? Yeah. What's that? Uh, basically, it was the on. I gotta stop talking science like this in front in your videos. No, people, <laughs> people, people like it. They're okay, like, okay. she's so smart and beautiful. Okay, I'll dig it. I'll dig it. I gotta, I gotta be happier to just talk to you. <laughs> um, no, so the Green Revolution was basically a modern scientific a uh, revolution in agro sciences. It's uh, basically what a lot of our agricultural commercialization is based off of today, and it came with a lot of pros and a lot of cons. Some of which led to like different kinds of controversies like Monsanto, uh, genetic weaknesses in the in the produced plants. And it's kind of one of those things that over the last like 50 or so years, they've just been tinkering with a lot. Because mm -hmm. one of the issues they had is that, you know, they had found, you know, it's, it's almost like plant eugenics. They found a level of plants that was able to keep them grown consistently, abundantly large, but one of the major problems was that was, you know, getting smaller farms to convert to that level and then distribution of all the excess food they've grown, which is how you have modern day consequences today, like that giant potato pile that happened in the pandemic. You hear about that? Potato pile? Yeah, uh, during the pandemic, uh, the, distrib the distribution companies were having a really difficult time uh, surviving. Um, so a lot of produce just completely went to waste and there's a giant pit in idaho i think don't quote me on that in idaho that's, that's where it would be giant right? pit filled with potatoes that they couldn't get out in time so they're just left there to rot it's crazy that's I sad when i saw that all right so um mm. we are definitely not doing mushroom tacos tonight because these somehow have mold on them even though we just bought them yesterday so we'll be doing instead Veggie tacos. Veggie tacos. <laughs> just, just like general veggie tacos. We have avocado. We have spinach. We have onion, tomato. We're just doing some veggie tacos. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I love feta. I love feta too. It's one of the best. It's one of the better cheeses. Mm -hmm. And there's no bad cheese. It tasted like gym sock and body funk. And oh, I was, God. it was bad. Oh, it was God. like what people think of blue cheese before they eat blue cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, this is going to be disgusting. It's going to be so nasty. And everything that people are picturing when they think about eating blue cheese, they're really thinking, <laughs> they're really experiencing when they eat this cheese. That's awful. The veggie taco, it might as well be a cheesy veggie taco. It has to be very cheesy. Yeah. Make it so cheesy. That'll let me use my like hot honey idea. Mm hmm. Why are you laughing? I thought this would be the worst time for a bear to come up behind you. For a bear to come up? I mean, yeah. tend to be the best time. I go, this is so Valid. Not so fast, bear. All right, watch I it. need to stop laughing. So somebody said that they told me to uh, not cut stuff in my hand. Yo, what if I, I say this and then I slice my finger off? Finger off. <laughs> but as a person who worked as a chef, for many years, Yo, I'm building it up to slice my finger off. <laughs> I know. Curb your enthusiasm. Oh, you shit. Start playing. <laughs> you drop the light. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It, it ain't too bad with uh without it. See, now I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Look Simple at you. That. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> and then they get it off. Oh wow. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to go that far, but we'll 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 we'll, we'll get after it. We'll, we'll find it. Up. Okay, <laughs> get the get a light over here because I'm about to look at that. Ooh, <laughs> that was beautiful. That's usually what I keep big spoons for at the kitchen. Wow. <laughs> And then I just, you know, eat You the really did your big one with that. I really did. You did your big one. <laughs> <laughs> Super stoked. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I love the thought, the idea of cooking outside. I've never really done stuff like that before. Really? The most creative I got was, you know, my uncle put up that campfire the last time we, we went camping that I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. So explain what you're doing. So what I was originally going to do was spicy honey mushroom tacos. 
But because I ran out of, because our mushrooms ran out on us, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm instead just doing a bunch of vegetables and I'm still gonna go with the hot honey thing. Uh, and I'm gonna start with throwing some apple cider vinegar in it to really bring the bitterness out. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm just gonna throw a little agave in it. Uh, there's already a little bit of cayenne and black pepper in it. After that, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of sour cream and a little bit of feta cheese so it all comes together and doesn't just like get all soggy and fall out of your taco. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> like chips. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh yeah. Especially raw. I have a weird thing about chips. I love kale. I love kale. Kale is so good. Not bad, right? Especially for a vegetarian taco. Yeah, that's like a cilantro on top. That is awesome. I'm so excited for this. This is sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah? Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh my god. Alright, your turn. My turn. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it was like instant. You instantly know you got one. Yeah, I know I got one. You did your big one with this. I did my big one with <laughs> this. Oh my god, so look. Look at how good this is. And the cheese. Oh man. Alright, I wanna eat like ten of these. Oh I'm saying. <laughs> Good. That looks amazing. <laughs> and I'm right, my face is right in it. So I'm like, yeah. Mm. You're smelling all that good stuff. Yeah. Oh. Flawless. Oh, look at that char. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like you are not that. So <laughs> I appreciate that. Give yourself a pass. I try. I try. <laughs> Some cilantro. Beautiful. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. It's bloody biblical. <laughs> Whoa, that is a beautiful thing. That is a gorgeous taco right there. Cheers. Hit it with some lime. Let me turn this off first. Yeah, it's going hot. It's going really hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. We're on. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Is that everything? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's everything. It's everything. Okay, it looks like everything. Promise to me you dream. my 
favorite song. I love that song. It's beautiful. <laughs> that was great. That was awesome. What's up, guys? Um, so we after making tacos last night, we just pretty much went to sleep because we had to get up extremely early, even though we overslept. But I have to drive Valora back to the airport. <laughs> yeah, fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. What? Okay, what was it like staying in a minivan with another person and a cat? It was like living in a third of a studio with a person and a cat. But somehow we managed to make it work. Yeah, it wasn't. Pretty comfortable too. Yeah, it wasn't like crazy uncomfortable. Yeah. She slept in the bed and I slept on the reclining passenger seat, and I think it was all right. Pretty, pretty, pretty all right. It was like a, like a, like what, like four, how many days? Not including the Airbnb. I'm pretty sure it was four days. Four days. Yeah. Okay. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Friday, Friday night. Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Sunday. Okay. okay. Five. We got five nights. Five nights? Yeah. Okay, yeah, five nights. Anyways, I'm about to drive Valora to the airport, and then I don't know what else I'm doing with my day, but mm -hmm. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, astronauts. Peace. <laughs> they were really cute. There's this one about a little girl who could talk to flowers. I thought it me. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I just got back from the airport. I dropped off Valora. I had a great time hanging out with her. Um, it was, of course, a little weird having somebody be in the van for the first time ever. Like, I don't even think I've picked really anyone up in my van, let alone them actually, like, staying in my van for, like, a few nights. So that was definitely took some getting used to, but I had a great time. Um, and, yeah, uh, definitely would be open to doing something like that again in the future. But yeah, right now I'm at Starbucks. I'm gonna go get some coffee, get my morning started, and um, yeah, see where we go from there. I have no idea what I'm doing in Washington yet because right when I got here, we started hanging out, and now she's gone. So I gotta figure out like where I'm going to next. I think I'm gonna not stick around Seattle for too much longer. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of places that are great to go in Washington, like places like uh camping and all that kind of stuff just fun stuff to do let me know what you guys want to see because this is my first time in washington ever so i definitely want to check something out and get into something good but yeah um i'm gonna go get some coffee and i will check back in with you guys in a little bit <laughs> 